Hey friends, this game is called Hungry Hungry Hippos. This is a floor hockey game that is going to help the student's ability to pass. So for this game, you're going to need two to four teams. For the equipment, you'll need hockey sticks, pucks or balls, uh, poly spots, and pylons. For the setup, you're going to want to outline corners of the gym with pylons. Uh, this is where each team is going to stand Okay, in these corners. Then you're going to want to uh, give every single person a stick and you're going to need one ball per group. Okay. After that, you're going to want to place poly spots all around the floor of the gym. Okay, That's what these green circles are. If you do not have poly spots, you can definitely just use um, cones or pylons or something of that sort. So the goal of the game is to be the team with the most poly spots at the end of the round. So the rules. Teams will be lined up in separate corners, like I have mentioned, with the first person in line being the receiver, and the second person in line being the passer. So, on go, the receiver, aka the first person in line, will run out to a poly spot. Okay, once they get to that poly spot, they are going to put one foot on the poly spot, at least one foot. Okay. The passer is then going to attempt to pass it all the way to them. Okay, If they receive that pass perfectly and then pass it back to their uh, back to the passer, okay, that is good. Okay, that counts as a point. They then pick up this poly spot and bring it back to their corner. Okay, and that kind of counts as a point. If the player has to take a step off um, to go reach the puck or the ball, um, or they cannot handle the pass, okay, that does not count, and they must bring the ball back to their line, and then um, the next person will go. Okay, so you got to make sure you have to stay at least one foot on that poly spot. Okay, the rotation will go if you are the passer. You will then become the receiver. If you are the receiver, you will go to the back of the line. Okay. And then that next person in line will obviously become the passer. Okay. So really quickly, I'll say it in a different order. If you are the receiver. Okay. So you, you went out, you received it. Okay. You're going to go to the back of the line. If you are in the line, you are going to become a passer. If you were the passer, you will be the new receiver. Okay. So at the end of the time limit, um, at the end of the time limit, the team with the most poly spots wins. You can also obviously just do um, until there are no poly spots left. Then that team, then whoever has the most poly spots, they will win. Okay, this is just a good fun way to kind of practice passing uh, and get the kids running.